Hey guys, this is Jack from FPV Academy in partnership with Lumineer and GetFPV. Now in this video, we'll be flying our very first racing track and give you a taste of what you can expect when starting to race. We'll also go over it in the liftoff FPV simulator. Now before we start this video though, let's touch on three quick points. In the description below, you will find three different links. If you do not have a quadcopter yet and you want to start flying FPV, there's a link that will take you to the exact quadcopter that I am flying in these videos. If you have a quadcopter and you want to do these lessons with the exact same game and flags as I do, then there's a link to that too. Finally, if you need any help with your flying, whether it's building your quad or you need some mentorship on your actual flying, I offer these services too through the FPV Academy Pilot Support Program. You can find some more info on this in the description. Now let's get right into it. So by this time, you should be able to fly your quad around the field without any major problems. If a gust of wind pushes you around a bit, you should be able to correct for it. All in all, you have a good understanding of the control input and you know how each input affects your quad. You also don't think about inputs anymore and it just comes naturally. If you have not reached this point yet, I would definitely recommend you take some more time to get used to how your quad handles. Once you are confident that you can fly around with a fairly good precision, let's start polishing that precision flying. Now for your first track, you'll need 5 flags and 2 gates. You can lay the track out the same way that I did here. There is also a link in the description below to the track blueprint which you can download to keep with you or print out. Now this exercise is really easy. You want to start flying the track really slowly at first, trying to stay more or less the same altitude when flying it. You'll notice that when flying through the straights, you'll keep your altitude fairly well, but when flying around corners, you'll either gain or lose quite a bit of altitude. That is totally fine if it does happen since it is a common beginner's mistake. Your goal though is to try and get better with every lap, flying more level throughout the track. There's also a really great quote to keep in mind when flying your first track, which is slow is smooth and smooth is fast. I'll touch more on this in an upcoming video. Don't worry if you're flying slowly, rather try and keep your lines as consistent as possible. We'll teach you exactly how to start flying faster in our racing series of videos. For now, focus on consistency and smoothness. Keep an eye on my stick inputs on the bottom of the screen. You'll notice that I don't have any jerky inputs, everything is smooth. Just try and keep flying this track until you're fairly confident with your skills when flying. Now to make it a little more tricky, every time you change to a new battery, let's change the track direction. Fly the track in the opposite direction. Now when finding a track in the opposite direction than what it's intended, you'll sometimes note that it becomes a little more technical. That is a great way to practice your flying. Now before we go out and fly this track in real life, let's first do this on the Liftoff FPV Simulator. This exact track is available to download on Liftoff simply by searching for FPV Academy in the Steam Workshop. There's also a link in the description below if you just want to find the track quickly. Now as always, fly this track on the simulator for at least an hour before you go out and try this in real life. By flying this on the sim, it will teach you almost everything you need to know and also give you the confidence when you go fly your real quad. Rather crash on the sim than in real life and keep practicing this until you're confident enough. But like I said, one hour should be good. Now in our next videos, we'll be starting with the basics of freestyle, which is rolls and flips. Thanks a lot for sticking through this entire video and if you enjoyed it and learned a lot, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. FPV Academy in partnership with GetFPV and Lumineer will be bringing out tons of videos that'll help you become a better FPV pilot. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Jack, signing off.